Hello everyone, it's Loretta, and I have a progress process video for you of the swimming cow. The cow image is from Penny Black, as is the sentiment. The uh, stamp, when I bought it, was from Rubber um, Stampede, and uh, bought it online many, many years ago. I do love cows, as many of you who watch my channel already know. I stamped this image onto Copic Quality Expressive cardstock, which I then cut out with my Nesting Circles dies from Dynamics dies. I also cut out some rectangular shapes out of different types of pattern paper from my collection using the uh, stitched rectangle dies from My Favorite Things. The card base today is also from My Favorite Things. Copic markers were used to color this image, and this image is really small, so it doesn't really take a whole lot of blending to get this done. And I had done this video um, as I was doing the cards, and I actually sat down and made six of them all at the same time. Um, this is for an online swap with Facebook, and uh, if you're interested in any of the Facebook groups, I belong to, then feel free to just send me a private message here on YouTube or even on Facebook. Email me as usual and um, I will let you know which groups that I am in if you would like to become a part of those. One of the things I did with this image is that after I finished coloring it, I did decide that it needed a little bit of something else and so I went around the entire outside of the image using my C2 Cool gray marker and all that did was kind of added some depth. Um, also today when I put this uh, image onto the car front you're going to see me use some action wobbles. I did actually buy my action wobbles directly from actionwobble.com however I'm not sure if you can buy them there any longer. Um, I do know that they are available through Amazon so you may want to check that out. When um, Coloring the grass of this area, I just wanted to keep that on the lower quarter of this card, probably more like the third. And I just actually, when I uncapped my marker, I used a chisel tip just because I had uncapped it incorrectly. But it doesn't matter. You can color with either end you like, of course. But um, as I um, started putting this card together, I kind of rehearsed the pieces, if you will, of the different layers of cardstock that I wanted to use. My uh, adhesive of choice today is from Glue Glider Pro, and this is the permanent um, adhesive that I'm using, and I'm just going to layer these pieces on top. The black and white uh, houndstooth pattern there is just being laid down first, and then I kind of played with the idea of this brown and white polka dot pattern, and I finally decided I did want that on the card. And I used some um, bolsters. These are from Judy Morrow in the Sticky Stuff store. And I will be including her information down below in the description box as to where you can buy those materials. Now, these action wobbles have been in my collection for quite a while. And this brown and white paper is actually textured. So when I first tried to put this wobbler onto the front of the card, it didn't want to stick. So that's why you see me using just some uh, glossy accents to adhere the card, um, excuse me, to adhere the wobbler to the card and the image to the card as well. Um, before I put that image down, I went back over those tiny little hearts using a little bit of that glossy accents just to give it a little bit more interest. I'm going to hold that down for just a second. Oh, before I forget, I want to let you guys know that you are viewing this video today in two times fast forward mode, just so that uh, you don't get too bored with the process progress video. And here you're going to see me put yet another car front together uh, before we move along to the uh, next step. I hope that uh, everyone is having a terrific week. Uh, it is raining here, and we are very thankful for it because our garden is starting to really pop up. And I look forward to having those fresh vegetables this spring and in the summertime, as um, many of you do as well. It's just nice to have your own garden and um, be able to 
not have to have the extra expense. It's not expensive to start one or to maintain one. Some of these images, when I stamped them, actually had some uh, ink smears. And so what I do was I used my white Copic um, liner, and I just went over that and uh, covered it up once it was dry. I went back over there just a minute ago with a black marker and just added some more of those black little dots around the image just to give it some added interest. And um, here it is all finished and I'm going to show you how I package this card. Um, for the card I use the same card stock, uh, excuse me, pattern paper as I did for the card and that is cut to five inches by three inches and then that's folded in half and then the black and white cow pattern is cut to four and three quarters inches by one and a quarter inches and then that is taped into place onto that clear plastic bag. I did make these uh, cards some matching stamped envelopes which will be included in the swap but they will not be as part of the packaging as they were uh, too big to fit in the same envelope. Um, as I've said many times, uh, something worth doing is worth doing well. And um, I think I cut this part out, but I did use some yellow Grogarine ribbon for my collection to create a little bow. I stamped the sentiment one more time, and there the card is finished. Thanks for joining me. Stamp happy. Be a blessing.